So I've seen a lot of questions of how to turn a handwritten recipe into something that can be engraved on like a cutting board or something else. So this is just one that I found off the internet Google search of handwritten recipe. This isn't the best but it will show how I do it. The first thing I do is I clean it up in Photoshop. This is a very old version of Photoshop so it may or may not work this way for you. How I start is what's called color replacement. Replace color. Essentially what you do is you find a spot on your recipe, click it, use your sliders to turn that color white. And it takes a little bit of doing to get it all set up. It may take several times of the replacing color to get it right. And I'm not going to do it super well like I would on some other other project. Then you also have your eraser where while you're sitting here you've got most of it cleaned up. Go into your eraser Make the brush whatever size you think you'll need. And that cleans up some of the other stuff that's out there. Like I said, I'm not going to do a lot of cleanup on this one. But it'll give you an idea. So I've gone through, got rid of most of the uh, background on it. Like I said, it's not going to be... spending a whole lot of time on it. So then you go into the your image and you adjust your brightness and contrast. You make the word the lettering a little bit darker and then you set your contrast to bring it out a little bit. Just gonna go with this to show you as an example. So then I usually save it as a PNG file and I'll just use the same name save it. So now in my files I've got the original and the one that I've cleaned up. So then you go into Inkscape and you bring in that file that you just saved that's cleaned up. I just use their defaults and you've got it right there. You have to hit the plus and minus key on your keyboard to zoom it in and out. Under Path you'll find Trace Bitmap. I've already opened it. I use it a lot so it just comes up as a default that I'm using in it. You'll use trace bitmap, single scan. There's two that you can use. You can use centerline tracing. Make sure you've got it highlighted. Update so you can see it right there. You hit apply and did you see it jump? And then you pull out the center line tracing. From there you save it as an SVG file. I'm just using the test again. So now it's saved. You go into the Laserbox software or whatever software you're using. Import the test SVG that we just did. And it brings them both in. This is the original where it would do the raster engraving and this is the vector file where you can laser cut it or do the fast laser engraving and then you can just delete which one you need to center this where you want it to be like I said this one wasn't the best it looks kind of yucky the more you work with it the better it will get the other kind of tracing you can do on your recipe is the auto trace. And again, highlight, update, and apply. Get it, pull it off to the side. And they kind of look the same now. Resave it as the test. Replace it. And now, when we open it in Laserbox or the other software,
it's outlined instead of just a line through it. Sometimes it makes it easier to read, sometimes it makes it harder to read, and this is also where you can hit the fill on it. And still use this engraving, the vector engraving, instead of the raster engraving. Hope this might help someone.